Hello everybody, Thomas here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial of how to set up Clone Hero V1 in OBS. I'm going to be going over how to set up your game capture window, how to set up your camera, how to set up the Clone Hero input display if you want to use that instead of the camera or in conjunction with the camera. Uh, honestly, it's kind of the reason I'm even making this as kind of an update to that tutorial, but I figured I'd just kind of mesh it all. And then also how to set up your audio in case you want to have Clone Hero as a separate audio source than the rest of your computer. So first we're going to set up the game to be captured in OBS. So what you're going to want to do is come over here to Sources, click Add, and then go to Game Capture. You can add Window Capture, but it can be wonky. If you'll notice, um, I'm going to... I don't know if you can hear, but I'm actually in the menu right now, moving around, and you'll notice it's not doing anything. That's because the capture method is weird sometimes, but if you change your capture method, all right, Sorry, I just gotta, I'm gonna drag that out of the way. If you tra uh, change your capture method uh, to one of the others, in my case it would be Windows 10, you'll notice that now there is stuff going on. But we're not gonna use window capture, we are going to use game capture. So you're gonna plug in game capture, call it clone hero. Uh, if you have, I would recommend setting this to a specific window just because, you know, just in case. You click Capture Specific Window, Window, Clone Hero, and boom, it's Forefront. Oh, I done, I done messed up my OBS. There we go. We're just going to drag that to the bottom so you can see what it's doing, but it is working. It's fine. So now... Uh, if you want to use transparency mode with your camera, you're going to want to go ahead and click allow transparency now. If you don't, then don't click it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but we're going to have to, we're going to go ahead and leave that on. We're going to click uh, capture cursor just so that you're not capturing the cursor when you're mousing over clone hero in case you happen to leave it over it or something, blah, blah, blah. And boom it's there. Cool. So next we're going to talk about camera setup. Now I've already got my camera set up obviously but I can kind of show you what you've got going on here. Whenever you first do it uh, your device should default but if it doesn't go ahead and select it. Then you're going to want to come down here set your resolution type to custom, your resolution to an FPS to whatever. Um, I for me personally, I like having HD 60 FPS because that's what my camera can do. I like the 60 FPS option. And speaking of 60 FPS, here's something you should definitely know if your camera does 60 FPS. Go to configure video, camera control, low light compensation, by default usually is checked. If your camera does 60 FPS and you want it to show 60 FPS, turn off low light compensation because otherwise it's going to try to make the scene brighter and make it like 30, 20, 30 FPS because technology. Also, if your camera tends to be funky about autofocus, you can go ahead and turn that off in here too. Um, I'm going to have a link in the description to a post about Logitech cameras and how to permanently disable um, Six or uh, low light compensation for them as well as autofocus. Um, I don't know about other brands of cameras. Uh, good luck. Look it up. That's all I can really say. But at least for Logitech users, if you've got a C922 or a Streamcam or a Logitech Brio, then I got you covered. Now I know you can't see it right now because camera big, so I can't really have. OBS over it, uh, but I'm going to drag Clone Hero over my video capture device in OBS. So now it's Clone Hero, then the video capture device. And that's what you're going to want to have for transparency mode. So if you go into the game, 
you go in here, boom, there's transparency mode. Unfortunately, this only works if you have a black background. It's the only way it works because um, I, I don't know how it works. I'm not going to pretend to know how it works. So if you like having a video background or even just a picture background, then unfortunately you're not going to be able to use that with transparency mode, at least for the moment, probably for, I don't know. Point being, black background only. only. Sorry. But you can still have your nice highway. It's, it's, it's fine. And now we've come back to the reason that this video is even being made in the first place. The Clone Hero input display. Quick disclaimer, I did not make this. I do not take credit for making this. I don't actually remember the name of the person who made it because I haven't seen them around anywhere. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, and for, I, if I can find a way to credit them. If anyone has their socials or whatever, please, I will put them in the description as soon as I can. But as of the time of uploading this video, no idea. Anyways, I am going to make the tutorial for how to set it up. So you're going to download the Clone Hero input display folder in the description, and you're going to come in here and open up fightstick.html. Now, once you do that, you're going to want to take your controller, press a button. I already did that when I was picking it up because very sensitive. But what? I'm not sure what is activated. But anyways, so when you open it up, obviously it looks nothing like the Clone Hero input display with the five frets and the strum bar. But if you come over here to custom layout, click the checkbox, click the custom layout checkbox and it'll it should bring you around here if not then just go to where the folder is I would recommend keeping this folder in your documents or something like that but then you go to layout color and open layout.sav my orange button is stuck something is stuck um, actually no it's not my orange button because in fact the orange button is the one button on this that for some reason didn't automatically assign just on the Xbox 360. Okay, wait, what? What is, what is being held down? Hello? Uh, technical difficulties moment? Okay, we're back and whatever that was uh, has gone away. I just, I literally just reopened the program and it's fine. But anyways, so to assign, you're just going to click the button, click the button, boom, it's now assigned. Like I said, everything else on here is fine, so we're not gonna screw with it. Strum bar is good. Uh, if you do need to reassign the strum bar, actually, we'll come back to that in just a second. <laughs> um, but once you've got all your buttons mapped, uh, you're gonna come back over here to general, set your background opacity to zero, and copy the OBS browser source. You're gonna come over here to OBS, open browser. You're gonna call it clone hero input display. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but we're just going for simplicity here. It's gonna open this. You're gonna paste your URL in. Okay, and boom, Clone Hero input display is right there. Cool. Now we need to talk about the strum bar for Arduinos and PS2 TARS. So to assign your strum bar, what you're gonna wanna do is click just like slightly below and slightly above the strum bar. You can also do left and right it just looks weird, I don't know why you would, but anyways, you do that on buttons like the Explorer and with Wii guitars, you would just click, but since this is on an axis, you're going to have to hold it. Now you'll notice that if I try to assign the up axis as well, 
only the down is registering. And that happens on guitars that, like I said, have an axis assigned to the strum bar, which is Arduinos, PS2 guitars, maybe PS3 guitars? I'm actually not completely sure. Also, I should say PS2 guitars with certain PS2 adapters. Uh, I don't know about the Rafnet. Most cheap guitars are or most cheap adapters will probably assign it as an axis. So what you're going to want to do in that case is you're going to want to go into the link to the description to gamepadtester.com. Uh, whenever you load into it, it may not actually say that, um, it may not actually have the gamepads up already. It may say you need to click, but point being, you come in here and you find your specific controller. And what you're going to want to do is look at all your axis uh, points down here. And you're going to want to see which one activates whenever you move. And so you'll see in this case, it's moving axis 9. So what you're going to do is come back over to fight stick motion, or the fight stick display thing. <laughs> Words. Words are hard. Anyways, you come over to user specific, you're going to check the box, and you're going to set neutral, up, and down, all to axis 9. Now the values are going to come from this. So you'll see when I'm holding, I'm not pressing this drum bar at all, it has a value of 1.28. We're gonna have a, we're gonna go ahead and leave it at 1.28 instead of rounding just to be safe. Then for up, you just hold it up, you'll notice it's negative one. So you come back over here, set that to negative one. When you come and press it down, 0.14. So you come down here, 0.14. And boom. Now that's working as properly as it should be. And you just do the same opacity and copy the browser link into the thing. And then you're good to go. And then finally setting up audio. This is the simplest part, honestly. Go to your settings in OBS, go to audio, disable your desktop audio. Then you're gonna to wanna to come over here, click add, go to application audio capture. We'll call it clone hero. Oh my God, I can spell <laughs> audio. Then you're going to come down here, add from currently active sessions, session, clone hero.exe, add executable. And you'll see that now there is a bar for clone hero. And if I just press this, Clone Hero Audio. Awesome. So I hope I answered all of your questions on how to set everything up. Um, if I didn't, I call me being dumb and bad. So if you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments. I or maybe someone else will be able to explain it. And yeah. Bye. <laughs>